Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on chemical bonding and structure. In our today's lesson, we will learn about the three types of chemical bonds, ionic bonding, covalent bonding and metallic bonding. At the end of this section, you will be able to describe the reason why atoms form chemical bonds. Define chemical bonding. Use Lewis electron dot symbols to depict main group elements. Describe ionic bonding using Lewis electron dot symbols. Tell the formation of covalent bonding. Students, if you are ready, then we will get started. Chemical bonding. Why do atoms combine to form chemical bonds? Good. Chemical bonding is a force that holds two or more atoms together. Chemical bonding is the fourth that holds two or more atoms together. There are three types of chemical bonds. These are ionic bonding, covalent bonding, and metallic bonding. Let us see each one by one. One ionic bonding known as electrovalent bond. Ionic bond is formed by complete transfer of electrons from one atom into another, from metal into non-metal. You can take sodium chloride as an example. Sodium chloride. You see? Sodium is a metal. It has one valence electron. The valence electron, electronic configuration, 2 8 one See, the valence electron is completely transferred from sodium into chlorine. Now it becomes sodium plus. Electronic configuration of chlorine is this, 2, 8, 7. It needs one electron to have a noble gas electronic configuration. Therefore, it gains one electron. It takes one electron and becomes minus one. Now sodium plus Cl minus. An attraction force between oppositely charged ions is known as ionic bond. Therefore, ionic bond is an electrostatic force of attraction between positively charged ion and negatively charged ion. Formed between metals and non-metals except ammonium ion. NH4 plus, NH4 plus, see? Ionic bond is formed between metals and non-metals. Compounds formed by ionic bonds are called ionic compounds. Factors affecting formation of ionic bonding. The formation of ionic bonding is influenced by one, ionization energy. Ionization energy of the metal atom must be low. Low ionization energy. Low ionization energy. Two electron affinity. The electron affinity of the non-metal elements must be high. Electron affinity must be high. Stream, lattice energy. The lattice energy of the ionic compound formed must be high, high lattice energy, high lattice energy. Lattice energy is the measure of the strength of ionic bond. Lattice energy is energy required to break one mole of ionic compound. Now, lattice energy is affected by, lattice energy is affected by, lattice energy is directly proportional to charge of the cation times charge of anion, but inversely proportional to radius of cation and radius of anion, you see? 
Lattice energy is affected by size of ions, size of cation and size of anion. Two, the magnitude of the charge, charge of cation and charge of anion. You see? The smaller the size, the smaller the size, lattice energy and size of the cation are inversely proportional. Therefore, the smaller the size, the higher the lattice energy. Lattice energy of lithium chloride is greater than sodium chloride. Why? Because the lithium has smaller size than sodium. The larger the magnitude of the charge, lattice energy and charge are directly proportional. The larger the magnitude of the charge, the higher in the lattice energy. Lattice energy of magnesium chloride, magnesium plus two, is greater than that of sodium chloride because the charge of magnesium is plus two, while that of sodium is plus one. Therefore, lattice energy is directly proportional to charge of cation and charge of anion, but inversely proportional to radius of cation and radius of anion. Properties of ionic compounds. One, they are aggregate of ions. Ionic compounds are aggregates of ions. They are called crystalline solids. They have high boiling points and melting points. They have high density. They are resistant to heat, but money will break by heat. They are hard and brittle. They are usually soluble in polar solvents. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar solvents, such as water, but insoluble in non-polar solvents, such as benzene, toluene, and so on. They are non-volatile, no tendency to escape, non-volatile. They transmit electricity in aqueous or molten state. Ionic compounds conduct electricity, transmit electricity in molten states or in aqueous form when they dissolve in water. Covalent bonding. Covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons. Formation of covalent bonding. Covalent bond is formed when a pair of electrons is shared between two atoms. For example, the bond between the two hydrogen atoms is covalent bond because this bond is formed by sharing of electrons. Covalent bond. Covalent bond can be a single bond, double bond, or triple bond. Nitrogen. Yes, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Again, this is covalent bond because it is formed by sharing of electrons. Sharing of electrons. Generally, substances that contain covalent bonds are called molecules. Representation of covalent bond. Drawing Lewis structure of covalent molecules. The representation of covalent bond through Lewis symbol and shared electron pair is called a Lewis structure. How can we draw the Lewis structure of covalent molecules? The shared pairs of electrons in a molecule are called bonding pairs. Look at the Lewis structure of water. Water. Oxygen is central atom. Hydrogen. These are periphery atoms. Yes. There are two lone pairs of electrons on the central atom, oxygen. These are bonding pairs of electrons, shared electrons. The shared pairs of electrons, shared pairs of electrons in a molecule are called bonding pairs. The other electron pairs, the other electron pairs that stay with on atom and are not shared are called non-bonding pairs or lone pair of electrons. Lone pair of electrons. For example, write a plausible Lewis structure of NCl3. What is the Lewis structure of nitrogen trichloride? A. 
nitrogen trichloride and Cl3. Nitrogen, its valence electron is 5, 5, two, 3, 4, 5, bonded with 3 chlorine atoms, chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. Now this covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons. The valence electron of chlorine is 7, 2, 4, 6, 7, you see. These are non-bonding electrons we call lone pair of electron. ClO3 minus, what is the Lewis structure of ClO3 minus B? ClO3 minus, ClO3 minus. First, calculate total number of eight electrons. N equal one times eight is eight plus three times eight is 24. 32 electrons. Valence electron V for chlorine. Valence electron of chlorine is 7 plus valence electron of oxygen is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Gains 1 electron plus 1 equal 7 plus 18, 25 plus 1, 26 electrons. Now shared electron is obtained by subtracting V from N. N minus V equal 32 minus 26 is six electrons. Six electrons are shared. Therefore, chlorine is the central atom. Chlorine. Oxygen, periphery atoms. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. You see? Six electrons. Two, four, six. From 26 valence electrons, six electrons are bonding electrons. The third 20 electrons are lone pair of electrons, non bonding electrons non-bonding electrons. 26 minus 6, 20 electrons. These are lone pair of electrons. Lone pair. This needs 6 electrons to have a noble gas electronic configuration. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. A total of 18 electrons. We're left with 2 electrons. The 2 electrons become here is lone pair of electron. Therefore, the Lewis structure of ClO3 minus this, three bonding pairs and one lone pair on the central atom. pH4 plus, pH4 plus, pH4 plus. This is the same as pH3 plus H plus, H plus. Phosphorus, Central atom. This valence electron is 5. Valence electron of phosphorus is 5. Two. Then, uh, 3, 4, 5. Bonded with 3 hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now, this is covalent bond formed by sharing of electrons. H plus hydrogen lose. It is electron. Now, the bond between hydrogen and phosphorus is dirty bond, coordinate covalent bond, you see. Both bonding electrons come from this phosphorus, hydrogen, the whole, plus, plus. is the Lewis structure of pH4 plus. Coordinate covalent bonding or dative bond, dative bond. Now, coordinate covalent bond is a special type of covalent bond in which both bonding electrons come from one atom. For example, O3, odon. The Lewis structure of odon is this, O3, O3. Calculate total number of eight electrons. N, N equal three times eight is 24 electrons. Valence electron V is three times. Valence electron of oxygen is six, 18 electrons. Shared electron S is obtained by subtracting V from N. N minus V equal 24 minus 18, six. Six electrons are shared between the three oxygen atoms. Oxygen, 
in the central atom, oxygen, oxygen, the two oxygen atoms are periphery atoms, six electrons, two, four, six. The rest, 18 minus six, 12 electrons are non-bonding electrons. Lone pair of electrons, 12 electrons, lone pair. Six, 10, then 12, you see. Now, the valence electron of oxygen is six, two, four, six. This bond is dative bond, dative bond, or coordinate covalent bond, because both bonding electrons come from this oxygen, the central oxygen is dative bond. Special type of covalent bond in which both bonding electrons come from one atom. Exception to the octet rule in covalent bonding. There are three groups of molecules that are exceptions to the octet rule. One less than octet, less than octet. Central atom is deficient of electrons less than eight electrons on the central atom. For example, beryllium chloride, Be, Cl2. The valence electron of beryllium is two, beryllium, chlorine, chlorine. How many electrons are there on the central atom? Beryllium, four electrons, two, four, less than eight electrons on the central atom. Now this is exception to the octet rule. Boron trifluoride, boron trifluoride. The valence electron of boron is three. Fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. How many electrons are there on the central atom? Boron, two, four, six. Less than eight electrons on the central atom, boron. The same is true for aluminum chloride. Two, more than octet, more than eight electrons on the central atom. We call expanded octet. For example, xenon tetrafluoride. The valence electron of xenon is eight. Eight. Xenon. Eight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Bonded with four fluorine atoms. Fluorine. Fluorine. F. F. How many electrons are there on the central atom? Xenon. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve electrons, more than eight electrons on the central atom, which is known as expanded octet. SF6, there are twelve electrons on the central atom. PF5, ten electrons on the central atom, more than eight electrons. We call expanded octet. Three molecules containing a known number of electrons. ClO2. The valence electron of ClO2 is 19 odd electron. NO. Its valence electron is 11. Nitrogen dioxide. Valence electron 17. These are odd electron species, which are exception to the octet rule. Students, let us try this exercise so that you can practice what you have just learned. The following molecules do not obey the octet rule. Draw a Lewis structure for each one and state type of octet rule exceptions. You have three minutes.
Good. How do you do it? Let us do together boron trifluoride. Boron trifluoride. The valence electron of boron is 3. Therefore, the less structure is boron, fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. There are six electrons on the central atom, boron, less than eight electrons on the central atom. Arsenic, F4 minus. The valence electron of arsenic is five plus one, six. Arsenic, six, AS, six, two, three, four, five, six. Bonded with four fluorine atoms, fluorine, F, F, F. How many electrons are there on the central atom? Arsenic, two, four, six, eight, ten, which is known as expanded octets, more than eight electrons on the central atom. ClO3, beryllium fluoride, PF6 minus, now let us do this, PF6 minus the valence electron of phosphorus is 5 plus 1, 6 phosphorus, 6, you see, bonded is 6 fluorine atoms, F, How many electrons are there on the central atom? Phosphorus, 12 electrons, which is known as expanded octet. Xenon difluoride, the valence electron of xenon is 8. Xenon, 8. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Bonded with two fluorine atoms. Fluorine atoms, F, F. How many electrons are there on the central atom? Xenon. Two, four, six, eight, ten, which is known as expanded octet, more than eight electrons on the central atom. Students, in our today's lesson, we learned the three types of chemical bonding. One, ionic bonding. Ionic bond is formed by complete transfer of electrons from the metal into non-metal. Covalent bond is formed by sharing of electrons. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.